Howdy folks, welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. I just wanted to say that the texture on all the stuff in the totals menu is the same texture as on Kazooie's eggs. And the interesting thing here is I spent like 10 more minutes in Freeze Easy Peak than anywhere else because of having to do everything like three times. It was amusing. Also, this guy sucks. I had to come in here and get a screenshot earlier and he was trying to murder me, which is why I was standing there. I also opened that cauldron. And I thought that the cauldrons worked like Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. You just open a teleporter part and you go. But that is not the case. I sure do hope these eggs actually work when I get over here. Because there's one in here and you just open up two ends and you teleport between two specific cauldrons. I'm going to remember how to poop out eggs in a minute. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. He didn't... This must be to a further area because I can't go in him. I can't go in him, I lied, but he poops me right back out. I've said poop a lot. Does that make me popular with the children's? Ugh. Camera is acting up. I think there are just eggs up here, which I really should be collecting eggs when I see them, apparently. That reminds me, I've been watching a bit about other people's thoughts on ukulele. And it seems like there are more people of the opinion that it was not the worst, but it was not the best either. There's supposed to be a, a flight pad there, I thought. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we go through here, which we could open earlier. I also confirmed... Well, I sure hope this is Gobi's Desert. That feels right. Yeah. Gobi's Valley, actually. Even though it's very clearly super deserty. I guess there's... It's also very clearly valley -y. He has some very unnatural walls being the boundary boxes of these levels, which I guess is better than... unnatural... endless something that's not an ocean. But I confirmed that there's only one spot in Banjo Kazooie where you have to backtrack. You absolutely have to backtrack. And that was. This is. I'm not supposed to be going up. I'm supposed to be going through here. This marks the two thirds point once we finish up this hopefully pair of episodes. There's only one point where you have to backtrack, and that was. I'm, I can't make this jump. There must be somewhere where you can get the waiters. And that was the one backtrack place that I've been saying for like the past 30 minutes. Is... What we saw last time. I, I'm trying to remember... Oh, this is the first time you see these. Now bees exist by the hives and can try and steal your life. You steal theirs. Also, I never would have thought to look back if I hadn't done that. I oh, I think I remember how you get water into that guy now. Might be something in Banjo Tui that's weirder, or maybe I'm thinking of Superstar Saga where you have to fill up somebody with water and then whack them to get them out, get the water out. But yeah, one backtracking place, and that is to beat Foggy in Freeze Easy Peak. No thank you, Mummy Hand. Go away. Hit the note. Hit the note. There we go. And ukulele does it all over the place. Where was I originally going with that? I got so stuck on talking about confirming the stupid... Toboggan racing. Are those even toboggans? I don't know. But the most important thing, and I have not played Banjo Kazooie in forever, I forgot the details of the quiz. And the Quackfire quiz 
is really an abomination compared to the quit the Grunty's fun time hole at the end of this at the end of this game. Like that was a neat, unexpected twist with an actual game to it. The Quackfire quiz is just how many quills did you pick up? Like I was too ignorant to be insulted without real I just kinda thought that it sucked and I cut it out. Actually, I believe you haven't seen me do the Quackfire quiz, and that's because it sucks butt from every imaginable orifice. Er, that was a real screw-up. Oh, okay. I started to say, why was he telling me that eel bit me? But he was just saying only we sand eels can survive in here, because it's super hot sand, I guess. That texture is really ugly. I know it's the Nintendo 64, but I do not like the weird... Like, there's constantly rocks being thrown in there or something, the uh, ripple effects. I want to go and talk to Bottles just in case there's something that requires the move. Is he over there? Oh, there he is. Whoa, whoa, camera! What the hell was that? That was pretty awful. And I believe this is the last move in the game, which... I complain about ukuleles moves like once an episode at this point. But Banjo-Kazooie didn't really do a whole lot better, to be honest. There's a whole bunch of these power-up moves. At least... You... You learn uh, all your basic moves before World 2. Like, there's just some traversal stuff that would be lovely to have at the start of Ukulele that you don't. There was no reason for me to be able to climb that. Let me see. I should just work my way around the edges now that I have the move. I'll go back over here. I wonder where that carpet takes us. I'll just jump into the, the horrible sand hole. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Ooh. I feel like this is giving me horrible flashbacks. One of the videos I watched complained of pointless collectibles scattered around. And I think that is a... an ukulele. And I think that is a consequence of there being more of them hidden in stupid places. Like there's this quill... This, there is this quill in Tribal Stack Topic. Damn. Tribal Stack Tropics that's just... I didn't like this because it's always hard to hit. Exactly. I think that's going to fall back down before I'm through with the Jinjo. It didn't. Yeah, but it does eventually go back down. I have to be pretty good at aiming these eggs. Which is basically impossible. Anyway, so... Ugh. There is a particularly egregious offender in Tribal Stack Tropics of this quill that you have to, like, go off this beaten path to find a single quill, and that's dumb. But there's plenty of pointless collectibles in this game, too, like those notes in the corners. Those weren't fun to collect. Those were just busy work to cross. I keep trying to adjust the camera so that I can aim better, and all that does is exactly what you just saw. I'm gonna miss that jump again. I did not. Okay. Need to be careful with the next one because I don't want to repeat this whole thing again. Wait for it to go up. Jump. Whoa! It did not stay up very long. But we got it in the end. Can I arrest my terminal velocity? Yes. Okay. But yeah, I think Ukulele's major failing was having five huge worlds rather than nine small ones. And I think that also hurt the theming of the level. Where do you go, Mr. Carpet? You take me... You take me over there if there's nothing to do at this point, so I don't know what I'm... Why I'm doing anything. I should go... Collect a couple of those gold feathers so I have them if I need them. But I'm not sure you need the gold feathers for anything. They're just kind of... Kid mode. You do kind of... I, oh... Oh, Rusty Bucket Bay. We're still a couple of, we're only a couple levels away from Busty, blah, 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 blah. Rusty Bucket Bay, aren't we? Oh yeah, I think I have to go through 
several of these hoops. This is like being underwater, except you don't drown. The flight controls are not a whole lot better. At least it's usually more interesting than whatever they want you to do underwater. I couldn't go through the key three times in Clanker's Cavern. I thought I knew where that was. I was grievously mistaken. I did know where it was. I just didn't know where I was. I wasn't lost. I was just misplaced. I know exactly where that is. You can do that. I feel like as a kid, I would get antsy and start using the dive bomb thing to move faster. And now I feel like that's just going to have me ram myself into a wall. So I'm being much more careful for the moment. Now I'm going to use it because there's no wall to worry about. Like, you go a really long way when you do that. You have to know exactly the distance that you're going to go when you do it. There are so many of these. I could have hit that mumbo token if I was better. Speaking of knowing your distance, that's on the other side of the Sphinx, right? This guy has a name, but I can't think of it. Shinxie or something ridiculous like that? I like how there's stairs up his back. But speaking of needing to know your distance and sucking, today is the last day... Where did he put it? Okay, it's on the back of Shinxie. That's fine. Isn't that a Pokemon? Except it's just like Shinx. Who doesn't look very Sphinx-like, I don't think. Just a cat. Weird little electric lion, maybe. Anyway, today is the last day of the arms test punch. And I was like, oh, I'm so unfit by forearms ache after using the punch grip with the Joy-Cons on the Switch. Can I make it into that? I'm gonna slide down, and I'm gonna slide down, I'm gonna keep sliding down. I'm gonna slide into the hole. Oh, there's a- that's handy. Okay, I need to just take off into the air and try and suck less this time. That's the plan, suck less. I bet that's there for you to grab onto out of the flight. Yeah, I, I bet that's the idea. So you can do this. Walk down and you Talon Trot and you very carefully... If you go too fast with the Talon Trot like that, I know you'll fall off too. But yeah, my forearms ache from using the punch grip with the jo one Joy-Con in each hand. Uh, the part of that is because I do it for like an hour at a time and I'm way too... I exaggerate my movements. Okay, what were you going to tell me? Just to poop eggs in there? Mm. I would look up, but I don't have enough eggs. I'm wasting way too many eggs. Fortunately, that doesn't matter, because I can just, every time I miss... <laughs> we might have to fast forward through this. That was silly. Oh. Aren't snake charmers Indian and not... Are there deserts in India? Am I racist? Is this racist? Does it even matter? Are we all going to die in the end anyway? All right. I'm bad at high jumps. See, this is also not telling you where to go. I mean, sometimes the collectibles are just collectibles. It's more obnoxious that there's 200 of them. I also... People gripe about the power bar, apparently, and I'm not sure... How I feel... Oh, I know what the... I need to be very careful or I'm going to die, because I'm 
like halfway. Eh, actually, I'm not that bad off. This is a useful thing for dealing with the bees. God, I love those noises they make when they die. The the this system with essentially everything is ammo. I like because it gives you more collectibles to place around the area, and it gives you that kind of follow the path type thing. Just more stuff to fill out the level with. And you do wind up in those situations where you don't have them because you spammed a bunch of them. And the power bar, you wind up in a situation where you have to wait on it. Which is also not great. On the other hand, that's more easily solved. Uh, do the butterflies in ukulele respawn? I'm pretty sure they do. Like, uh, th yeah, that th those people are full of it. The power bar is better. Because you just have the butterflies nearby. A challenge. It does kind of suck that the reptile roll shouldn't use the power bar. That's incorrect. That... I agree with the assessment that that is a poor use of the power bar mechanic over, well, just a bad use of the power bar mechanic nonstop. You should not have, you shouldn't have ammo for running either. Let's put it that way. Oh yeah, I need to find some shoes. I just wanted to collect all the stuff on the way up here. But now I've completely wasted all my time. I think they're over there. I remember having trouble getting from... Except there's not any actual sand, so I don't know why I had any trouble with anything. Can we make it? Ah, oh, nope, not quite. We have to cross the switch anyway. I hope it's not running out shoe time. Yeah, any kind of challenge where you're supposed to use your collectibles to do your... Your ammunition collectibles to do something in this game. You can blow through all of it, or have blown through it earlier, and not collected more. With the power bar mechanic, you just have some butterflies that respawn nearby. Are you kidding me? Ugh. We're gonna fast forward that for sure. <laughs> I just want to point out how god awfully rigged that was. You have you only have like 20 or 19 or 20 seconds out of that to actually accomplish anything. Was I supposed to empty this place first? I bet it empties when you grab the jiggy. I think there's a mumbo token over here I want to get before I let the water out. Yeah. I wonder if that's permanently missable. Like, surely, the water has to empty out because you can't kill those guys down here otherwise. Yeah. That door opens and the water goes who knows where. Oh, it goes into that. That makes a lot of sense. And, oh, now you have to collect... I could have gotten those notes with wading boots, but now... This is my life. And I'm going to have to use... Swimming. Never buy swimming, kids. Never buy swimming. That's a joke from a really, like, seven or eight years ago, tiny MMO called Haven and Hearth, where it's a long story, but swimming was a skill you had to buy to be able to cross rivers. It was a free to play it still exists actually you can go and look it up and it's kind of in the same form a lot of stuff has changed over the years but you had to buy swimming to cross rivers and you could just buy it was like really cheap and opened up pretty early and people would buy it and they would go and try to cross the river and you had to have a beefy enough character who had enough stamina to cross the river to not immediately drown. Like, really, the skill was not swimming, it was drowning. You earned the ability to walk into the river and drown, unless you had spent a long time... 
grinding up your stamina, basically. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys some eggs, and then we're gonna be done, I think, for episode 11 this is. Did I ever get across that I actually prefer the power bar mechanic, because you can just... Instead of running out of collectibles, you will always just have a butterfly there available to continue the the whole thing. Some of the stuff on the ukulele had a power bar that shouldn't have. Reptile roll should just be available like the talent rod. Some people also apparently didn't like the isometric palace, and I think there are a couple of obnoxious puzzles in there. And I can understand... Personally, I find that camera perspective... Why can I not land on this platform? Eat the eggs. Yeah. You eat that crap. Is there a fourth one of you? Do I have to do this four times? Nope, we're done. Alright. Next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we see what's inside that pyramid. Thank you for watching. You know the deal. Next episode of Ukulele on the left. Next episode of Banjo-Kazooie on the right. Playlists for both in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.